Today is uh, October 19, 2009. My name is Sean Canoni, and I'm sitting here with uh, Mr. Michael Tucker. Uh, I work for the Homeless Newswire Services, which is a national newswire for homeless newspapers in the North American continent, as well as the Homeless Voice newspaper and Homeless Voice TV. I'm also a homeless advocate. Again, I'm sitting here with Mr. Uh, Michael Tucker. Mr. Tucker, uh, do you understand that this broadcast will go over the public airways and many people will see this? Yes. Okay, well, today we're discussing uh, homeless health care. And we're discussing uh, today especially mental health care for the homeless. I understand earlier this morning you had an incident today. Could you please tell the public exactly what happened? Well, I went into the hospital early, the, early this morning. And How'd you get there? I had uh, called the police. And because I had split my wrist with a razor blade, and the police had Baker acted me and transported me to the hospital. And about three to three and a half hours later, I was stitched up, and the doctor said that I was more or less using this, being that I am homeless, as an excuse to get off the streets, and had a social worker refer me to the homeless voice. Well, was that the truth or no? No. I was actually trying to get back on my medication because I take medication for bipolar disorder and depression. So I'm gonna, from what you're telling me, I'm gonna assume two things. Uh, one, they gave you your medicine, right? No. But he gave you no medicine today. No. Okay. Well, then I imagine this little thing on your arm must be a very, what they call hesitation marks, or, or attention-seeking marks, where sometimes people do do they, you know, they scrape their their wrist with a little piece of glass to to make it look like they were going to kill themselves. So let me, let's me let go ahead and see exactly what you got there on your arm. Oh, it looks like you've hurt yourself before. Wow. That doesn't look like uh, attention-seeking to me. It looks pretty deep. I mean, it's got seven stitches That's there, it looks seven. like. And uh, how many other times have you tried to hurt yourself? About eight. And that's all these little things here. Was that ever done down here in Barry County? Yes. How long ago was that? Uh, 2002-2003. Well, okay, and you're saying the hospital never gave you no medicine? No. Wow. Do you think if you would have had insurance, they would have helped you? Yes. Okay, and let me see over here. Well, that is, um, pretty bad. And, uh, so basically, I guess the doctor rescinded the Baker Act? Yes. Did... Did you tell him you didn't want to do that? Yes, I did. Wow. Okay. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean Canoni from the Homeless Newswire Services and talking about mental health care for the homeless in Brad County, Florida. We chose not to use the hospital's name here today um, because we understand people do have bad days. Was it the system? Was it the fact that he had no insurance? Was it the fact that he was homeless? Or was it the fact of just a burnt out doctor and a burnt out ER staff? We'll never know. All we could do is attempt to make it better. Sean Canoni, reporting live from the Homeless Newswire Service in Brad County, Florida.